Hi, my name is Peter, and I'm an Earth scientist at NASA, and I'd like to talk to you about how fossil fuels are driving us bananas. This is a banana, and this is a chunk of coal, and they're about as different as two things can be. The banana is soft, and it's delicious, and it's fun to eat. And the coal, well, it sure isn't soft, and it definitely isn't delicious, but it does a very good job of generating electricity when it's burned. They're much more alike than they seem, however. They're both made by plants, and the plants have stored energy in the banana and in the coal from sunlight. And also, they've stored carbon gas from the atmosphere. Now, when I eat the banana, my body takes the energy that the plants stored from the sun in the banana, and I can use it to run and to jump. And after I've used that energy, I breathe out the carbon gas back into the atmosphere. Now, the coal, when we burn this, that energy that the plant stored from the sun is burned and is used to make electricity. And all the carbon gas that the plants have stored in the coal goes back into the air around us. In the banana is young, fast carbon. It was carbon in the atmosphere just a few months ago and uh, is released back uh, within uh, you know, minutes uh, of the time that I've eaten it. The coal, plants took the coal carbon out of the air millions and millions of years ago, long before there were people or even before there were dinosaurs. And it's been locked up under the earth ever since. And it would have stayed locked up in the earth if people didn't dig the coal up and burn it. Well, why do I care? Because carbon in the atmosphere acts like a blanket, making the planet get warmer. At NASA, we use satellites to study the Earth and how it's changing. And we can see that the ice caps and the glaciers are melting and that the land and the atmosphere and the ocean are getting warmer. So I know that it's important that we are very careful about how we produce and use energy so that we burn less fossil fuels so we can keep the planet from getting too warm.